guys and today I want to show you my uh, back vacuum pumper it came like that box um, and it's like that box yeah I bought from Amazon as you can see I set up and I want to share with you why did I buy and the main reason I bought for my resin because I am so tired of bubbles I'm so tired of all this messy resin with bubbles and so exhausted that's why I want to share with you and I show you how to set up all this vacuum uh, pump from the beginning okay so first you uh, it will arrive with oil vacuum pump oil so you need to open this and put the oil there always check the level of oil if oil become in the middle or less you're not allowed to use this vacuum all right it should be above the maximum this way and minimum that way if that comes in the middle you have to buy another oil for vacuum and pour it just remember that all right so that's have the all the screw it's coming like that and you just have to screw it. you don't need any key it's very easy and this part as well you open it and screw it there all right I tell you if you live in the UK this is plug it's coming like that yeah you have to mask UK plug out it came like that Like that plastic I just put there for security if you see the my resin it's yes that I'm trying and you just put there to avoid the mess all right so we mix the resin we mix the resin you see plenty of bubbles there so now we're gonna put that in our vacuum chamber so that's take it put it inside yeah make sure to always do half because bubbles rise and make a mess so when you put that one when you put it you have to make sure here set up if you have to be really really careful set up you have to put this way this part and this part should be always this way all right you put on and here you slowly Okay. you can see here the bubble it decreased I don't have any bubble now I just want to show you so that's you're gonna do you're gonna close that switch off and slowly release the air See the kind of changes. So that's we done. So what happened with our resin? If you see what it was before and now it's absolutely crystal clean. As before it was a lot of bubbles and now crystal clean but what I want to do I want to put in a mold and do pumping with the mold and see what happens so that's we done so what happened with our resin if you see 
what it was before and now it's absolutely crystal clean as before it was a lot of bubbles and now crystal clean but what I want to do I want to put in a mold and do pumping with the mold and see what happened Hmm, I can't see any bubbles there. Okay. Is that for So guys, as you can see, I try to do mold, but when I put it in the mold resin, it's a uh, result. I didn't like it and I completely was messed up. I tried to do nearly a whole week to do a mold with resin and bubbles didn't go anywhere. It was worse actually. I didn't satisfy at all. And also because bubbles push up, I have to pour in, keep pouring the resin to the mold and I found this so stressful. So I show you result. What I have done with um, vacuum pump and what I done with pressure pot and you will see how different it is so guys the if you see the air um, uh, air pump machine a vacuum pump machine absolutely uh, I don't like it because the bubbles came out here and even I polish it it's still there I, I did polish that one and you see a lot of bubbles this is a pump and uh, I'm not happy about the result because it has a lot of bubbles even this is after polish and I couldn't read off of a bubble now I show you the vacuum uh, pressure pump. Look at this. Can you see the difference? This is vacuum, air vacuum pump, pump, and this is pressure pump, air pressure pump. What happening here? The pressure pot is pressure the air inside yeah when you get the pressure pot you will see it will come like that if you see I don't know can you see that if you see air pressure pot push the air and when you polish it will come very smoothly all around the tank very soon definitely for resin pressure pump air pressure I will show you what air pressure I've got and share with you guys Thank you guys for watching my video and it's up to you i'm not saying a air pump it's really bad it's really good for big projects like a, but no for mold inside the mold it's really really hard to do inside the mold and uh, it's up to you it's your choice if you like it but next video i will share with you about my pressure tank and how to set up and how i use it so bye for now thank you for watching bye bye